Hi everyone, it's Jennifer Nassi with Learning Leaf LLC and welcome to video 24 of my 30 videos in 30 days series. So you are getting me this evening in all of my post ski day glory. I've got the sunscreen pallor going on and ski clothes and all of that. But I wanted to touch base. I know it's getting late. But I thought today is a perfect example of getting slow because let me give you a little window into my life for the last couple of weeks. As many of you know, if you've been following the videos, I got sick a couple weeks ago. It really took me out. Um, and then my computer crashed and I had all sorts of technical issues. And I could feel the work just piling and piling and piling and piling up. And I know that we've all been there at some point. And often it happens too frequently, much more frequently than we'd like, right? And so my husband and I, we had planned on taking our kids skiing today. And this was going to be the first time out the whole season, probably the only time out this season. And we had to talk about whether I could even come. Maybe I should stay home because then I could have a day to work and get things done. And would that help me feel better? And, you know, in my head, I thought, yes, because I can tick some things off the list and, and that'll feel so much better as I go into next week. But in my heart... I knew that was not the right answer for me. And so you know what? I went skiing and I had the most amazing day. Both of my kids, the wheels, you know, the gears finally clicked for them, the light bulbs went on and they started skiing on their own today. I would have missed that. And that's something that I would never have gotten back. And my day was filled with family and love and laughter and it was such a wonderful activity for us to just bond together and be together and again be present in the moment. I even left my phone in the car, believe it or not. I didn't even bring it on the hill with me and it was so refreshing. And so what I really realized now is I, I had a day like that and I am so energized. I am so rejuvenated and really excited about getting back into my work this next week. And I can tell you, as hard as it is to take that step back and do something for ourselves and our families or whatever it is our heart truly desires, as hard as that is to say, you know what, the other stuff has to wait, the reality is the more we do that, the more exuberant we become, the more enthusiastic we are, and the more efficient we get at our work. I can tell you that come Monday, I am going to wake up and I'm going to be ready to go. The ideas are already starting to come to me. I'm so excited about some of the new programs I'm coming up with. And so I will be in a very different place versus if I'd stayed home, maybe checked a couple more boxes off, but then was feeling all this regret because I'd missed out on this wonderful opportunity and didn't have the space to decompress and relax and be with my family which is what I really needed. So my tip for you is even if you can't take a full day, although really we all need that on a regular basis, but even if you can't, do one thing, just one thing for yourself every single day. Doesn't have to be big. It could be buying some special tea if you're a tea drinker buying a fancy tea that you can have, putting it in a special cup, a special saucer, something to make it a little bit different, a little bit of a special moment in your day. It can be picking up a new book, a new magazine, finding that 10 minutes to sit and relax and just read for enjoyment. You know, whatever it is, it could be calling a friend, a friend you haven't talked to in a while. That is a wonderful way to feel reconnected and rejuvenated. So think about one thing, one thing you can do just for you every single day. So I'm curious what you're going to come up with. Feel free to send me an email at jennifer at learningleafcoaching.com and we will talk more about this getting slow process tomorrow. Right now I'm going to go take a really lovely warm shower and have a cup of tea, curl up with a book and make sure I continue taking care of myself and I hope that you do the same. Take care.